Hey folks, David Fine here from Keys Moz. Guys, today we're gonna go over a, uh, a way, the best way to rehydrate dead, dried insect specimens. So we're gonna do this, tackle this from two angles. Uh, here, I'm going to take some of these um, Faithful Beauty Composia Fidelissima moths that are dead and dry. They've been, they're, they're years old. They've been in my collection for years. And I'm gonna send them to somebody as a gift. And in order to do so, I'm going to rehydrate them and take them off the pin, put them in an envelope like this. But uh, their wings are, I mean, they're, they're totally, totally dry. I'm not gonna to touch an antenna because the antenna will break. And I wanna preserve all the legs, all the antenna, and of course the wings, right? So we're gonna rehydrate these uh, specimens, put them in envelopes. And we've got some of these olive hair streaks that were sent to me from a friend of mine. And we're going to rehydrate them. Oh, and this is a gray hair streak that I, that I reared. It's been in my freezer. These guys have been in my freezer. I'm not sure how dry they are. Um, they were put in the freezer pretty fresh, but um, we're gonna use this Tupperware container. Uh, so we're gonna put these in envelopes and then we're gonna mount these so literally we're going to do the opposite thing these are going to go in envelopes these we're going to take out of envelopes and and spread the wings on so uh, we're going to use a tupperware container i've used the same container for 30 years uh, my rehydration chamber is pretty simple it's i mean this is really a simple thing you just have to keep them moist so i've got a piece of uh, styrofoam which is also 30 years old and somehow is, well, I've got some chlorocresol in here to keep the mildew down. But uh, anyway, I've got this thing that I put on top of, um, this is just paper towel. This is just fish gravel, guys, that you would buy at a pet store. You can use sand, you can use dirt, whatever. Um, but there's water in here as well. The water goes up about halfway, uh, in this chamber but i don't want to wait i'm impatient and i know you guys probably are too so um, i don't have time to play around so what i'm going to do i'm actually going to dump the water that's been in this container now for i don't know a couple months i'm going to dump this water because it smells like chlorocresol there, there's a chemical called chlorocresol that you can put in didn't mean to do that okay okay my wife will kill me if I get that stuff in the dream so I'm trying to ah that's this is backfiring a little bit all right that's good enough I got most of the water out and I'll show you why I have to get these rocks back in uh, chlorocresol is a chemical that is a mildew inhibitor you can buy it online it's fairly cheap um, I bought mine 20 years ago from BioQuip. It smells horrible. <laughs> um, and when you start rehydrating stuff, everybody in the house says, what's that smell? It's part of the deal. All right, so I'm going to get these rocks back in and rejoin the video. All right, the reason I dumped the water out, guys, is because I'm going to boil some water. And the reason I'm doing that is because boiling water, hot water, steam, um, that's too much, put too much in. Yeah, so steam, uh, steam will rehydrate much, much, much faster than uh, room temperature water. So if you, have, if you have your water boiled, which I'm gonna do right now, and it, it's steam, there's this real hot steam going up into the atmosphere, you're gonna see that it's only gonna take a couple hours for our specimens to be completely pliable versus like 24 hours or a full day. So I'm gonna steam these guys up and we'll get back to you in a second as soon as it starts to boil, which is, won't be long. All right, my water's boiling. Just pour the water in here. Okay. 
that's good. Then I'm gonna bring this guy back over here. I'm gonna put a, um, I put a paper towel thing over the top just to keep stuff from falling into the rocks. It's easier to pick it off the paper towel, just in case. And of course my, my uh, trusty piece of styrofoam here. All right, now, um, with the pin specimens, I'm going to go ahead and just pin them in. I'm gonna stick them into the styrofoam fairly deep because when they start to rehydrate, the wings will start to fold up like this. We don't want them to hit the container, but hopefully, let's see, I'm doing this left-handed, which is, I'm a righty. So I'm filming with my right hand, my phone. Um, these are beautiful specimens, aren't they beautiful? Comment down below if you like the faithful beauty. They're stunning. All right, now, um, I'm gonna put a piece of styrofoam here. I'm sorry, I'm gonna put a piece of uh, tin foil. I'm gonna put my hair streak specimens on there. Look at the olive hair streak. Oh, they're stunning, aren't they beautiful? Let's see, let me see how pliable they are. And I think he said that they were fresh. Yeah, they're, they're fresh, but he's still a little stiff. So he'll, uh, a couple hours in the rehydration chamber will do these guys really, really well. Um, I'm gonna put all these in here. I, get back. I just wanted to check after one hour to see what things look like here. And not a whole lot of visual difference yet on the faithfuls. Um, maybe that wing is starting to droop a little bit. That thing should start loosening up pretty much. But anyway, let me get the thing back over. We'll check back in another hour and we'll see how pliable the wings are. All right, it's been about three hours now. Let's see how our faithful beauties are doing. Let's see, they should be a little more pliable. See how they're more pliable now? I mean, it's... I don't know if it's at the point where I would put it in an envelope. Not quite. They're not quite where I'd put it in an envelope, but it's not too far. So I'll probably give it a little bit more time. But as you can see, they're getting nice and pliable. Now, the hair streaks, on the other hand, let us, let us see. Okay, come here. Yeah, see the hair streaks, I'm gonna try and mount. So I'm gonna try and mount one of these guys real quick. Let's see how this works. Oh, it's so pretty. All right, folks, it's been several hours now and I wanna test to see if our faithful beauties are ready to come off pin. What I do is I'll take a pair of tweezers and if they're ready, I should just be able to slide the but the moth down the pin. Yes, that's good. Let's see. Let's see. Is it going to work with this guy? Yep, sure thing. How about with this female? Yep. And let's see, we got one more here. Good, they all work. All right, now, let's see. I'm gonna actually take this female completely off the pin. Okay, she's off the pin. She is off the pin right there, guys. So the, the trick is how pliable will the wings be? And yeah, I should be able to get that in an envelope. Cool. We'll get that in an envelope here in a minute. All right. Now, the trick is when you, when you grab a specimen, you want to grab it 
by both wings as close to the thorax as possible. Okay. And then with, with your other hand, you kind of just go up underneath. Bam, just like that. And oh, we got a wing missing there. That's okay. I'm going to put it right in this envelope right now. Bingo. Right there, baby. All right, guys, that's it. The Faithful Beauty's in the envelope. Um, it's going to be able to safely ship to my friend. And uh, it, I'm glad to be able to send this bug to him. There's just a hole in the thorax now, but he's probably going to put another pin through it anyway. So anyway, that worked. I'm going to get the other four in, and I'll do an outro. All right, guys, all four of my Faithful Beauty moths uh, were rehydrated and relaxed with excellence and have been put into envelopes and are ready to ship. Um, all of my hair streaks made it onto the spreading board without an issue. It took about two hours for the hair streaks to, you know, there's smaller, smaller bodies, a lot less um, biomass to, to rehydrate. These faithful beauties are a little larger and, you know, it just took a couple more hours. So within four or five hours, these guys were ready to slide off the pin close their wings, put an envelope, and ready to ship. So, uh, guys, hope you liked the video. Give me a thumbs up. This is how you rehydrate a specimen, an uh, insect specimen, and uh, for safe distribution or travel or mounting or whatever you want to do with it. I uh, hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Till next time, let's get out there and enjoy South Florida or some pretty cool bugs like the Faithful Beauty. Take care. Mm -hmm.